Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on this video. I was just give you I want to give you a quick testimony real quick. I was in Walmart about 10 minutes ago and um going just doing some grocery shopping and I was in this very long line at Walmart today. The lines are getting ridiculous at Walmart, but this lady was behind me and I said, you know, and I just flat out asked her. What did you what do you know about Jesus Christ and what do you know about how to get to heaven and do you know the gospel? She says, Oh yeah, I know the gospel. I said, Well, tell me about it. She says, Well, I have to I have to be good and I have to do good and I have to repent of all of my sins. You notice what she said? It's, it was all about her. It was all about I, I. It wasn't you know, it wasn't you know, I says, well, I said, what did what did Jesus do? What did Jesus do on that cross? You know, so so automatically the, the illustration that Pastor Kakuza and, and Pastor Ralph Honor Yankee they do all the time um, after they they get through with their sermon they do the wallet illustration. So I pulled out my wallet. So I did the illustration, you know, and showed her what the gospel of Jesus Christ was and what he did on that cross and told. And told her about repentance, what it really truly means. It's a metanoia, it's a change of mind. You go from unbelief to belief. I says, ma'am, I said, whether you realize it or not, you was believing a false gospel. And a false gospel does not save. I says, this is the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is what Jesus did for you on that cross. He paid your sin debt. He paid all your sin. There has to be a payment for that sin. So I, I gave I did the illustration. And it really looks like it really sunk in with her. Well, interesting enough, uh, the person that was ahead, this is, see, so she was behind me, and there was another person ahead of me. Well, I didn't know it was her sister. So I must have gotten between them somehow in the line. You know, maybe I came up right at just the right time, and I and, and her sister was behind me, and her and her uh, and her other sister was in front, was in front of me. So after I get through with this spiel with this gospel presentation. I, I asked, I said, I looked at the sister, they, they look similar. I said, is this, are you guys related? She asked my sister. I said, will you ask your sister behind me, where I was just talking to, ask her about what we talk, just talked about. Because she wasn't, she didn't hear me because she was too busy checking out. She had a lot of groceries. And and I, I shared with her how simple it was to come to gain entrance into heaven, to be saved and sealed. And it was just a great, glorious time. And this girl, this woman, this, she was out. She was speechless, and she she actually looked like she had a teardrop in her eye. And I said, "Make sure you share that with your sister, would you?" She said, "I will today." And I said, "That's great." And the reminded her of, of uh, told her to meditate on Ephesians two eight nine. We are saved by grace through faith. It is the gift of God. It's not of works, lest any man should boast. I quoted that for her, and I said, see, it's not, not what we do, it's what we believe. I said, if you can remember that, and if, if you placed your faith today in Jesus Christ alone for your salvation, you're saved. You have just gained, you have just gained salvation. But anyway, I just wanted to encourage you out there, if you're going to the grocery store, the lines are long, why not share the gospel? It's a perfect time. You know, I spent half that time, uh... Most of that time, actually, scrolling uh, news feed. I could have been, you know, sharing, uh, you know, uh, earlier I could have had some, some discipleship times, more time with her. But it was just the right time. God knew, God knows our timing. But anyway, I just want to share that quick testimony that people need to know the true gospel of Jesus Christ. They need to know how to be saved. And, and I asked her, I said, isn't that not good news? She said, that is great news. I said, share that if you would. I said, share that with your sister. Share that with your, your daughters, your grandkids at home today. She says, oh, yeah, I'm going to. So I cannot wait what God is going to do with this lady, with her sister. And I hope it starts a revival with them. They've been taught a false gospel. And I explained that to them. But anyway, be blessed. I love you all. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.